and I ball for a minute, ride on, I got this, let it roll like a night storm, forever winning, don't you ever get in my way, cause otherwise I'ma rise up in your face, teamwork, head first, with my feet in the dirt, extreme thirst, feel the surge of adrenaline burst, my knees hurt, please nurse, let the medicine work, so I can get a damn bit professionally superb, I won't stop till I'm certified, yeah. won't stop till I'm first to rise, I'm on top getting first prize, gold medal, get a running ahead of you each time, can I ball for a minute, let's go, I got this, let it burn like some petrol, I'm getting W, yes so don't you ever doubt this, Cause otherwise I put my money where your mouth is You heard right that the earth is mine Burn bright, let the ember shine You know I'm gonna get it every time Champion, wearing the crown hey, I can see my name in lights Spark from the heart and it shines so bright Yeah, let the whole world know Let's go, let's go, let's go I can see my name in lights All till I fall and I'm feeling alright Yeah, so let the whole world know Let's go, let's go, let's go how you doing? So we was going sailing. I had to get the outfit. Oh, that's official now. Oh, I'm the king of the world! We were feeding raw meat to a full-grown tiger. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lean forward. I'm leaning forward! I'm flying! One of the most haunted houses on Earth. I like that he has the mirror right over the bed. <laughs> what a, a freak! I'm walking away with a kid who I'm calling the best prospect we found so far. I'm looking for a fight. October 21st, the UFC returns with a spectacular fight card that's only on UFC Fight Pass. In the main event, welterweight star Donald Cowboy Cerrone looks to halt the rise of fellow finisher Darren Till. I am the best fighter in the whole of the UFC. It's my show. We'll see if he's up for the challenge. Plus, strawweight Carolina Kovalkiewicz faces Invicta veteran Jody Esquibel. UFC Fight Night, Cowboy vs. Till. October 21st, only on UFC Fight Pass. So it all comes down to this, Demetrius Johnson. Round four! This is an opportunity to see the most title defenses ever. And for the lightweight title, Tony Ferguson! Oh! He's on a nine-fight win streak. There's the cap! The most have Kevin Lee! And I hope they've got the cage reinforced. Two destroyed. Let's raise the outfit, dude! Derek Lewis! He's out! He's out! Oh, he's hurt! Huge knockdown! Ah! Wild, spectacular fights. It should be a barn burner. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 216, Ferguson versus Lee. Tomorrow night, we will belt a UFC interim lightweight champion. El Kukui, Tony Ferguson goes for a 10th consecutive win against Las Vegas' adopted son, the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee. Not to be outdone in our co-headliner, the consensus greatest of all time, Demetrius Johnson takes his shot at the record books opposite flyweight contender Ray Borg. We would like to thank our UFC sponsors, Budweiser, this Bud's for you, and Metro PCS, who brings you closer than ever to the UFC on a fast nationwide 4G LTE network. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in the never stronger Las Vegas, Nevada. We hope to see all of you once again for the live action here tomorrow night. And now for the call of the way in for UFC 216, here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends, in Vegas? Welcome to the weigh-ins. Thank you very much for coming out. How about a nice round of applause for Ashley, Ariani, Brittany, Chrissy, Vanessa, Brooklyn, Dana White, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Shelby, Mick Maynard. We got a great card for you, ladies and gentlemen, and we're gonna kick it off in the middleweight division. Talis Latis versus Brad Tavares. Official weight, 185.5 for Mr. Tavares. And his opponent, Talas Lakers.
Official weight, 185.5. Live on UFC Fight Pass, ladies and gentlemen, first fight of the night, Palace Lakers versus Brad Tavares. The next fight takes place in the flyweight division, John Moraga versus Magomed Bibilatov. Official weight, 126 for Mr. Pugilatov. And his opponent, John Moraga. Official weight, 126 for Mr. Moraga. Featured bout on UFC Fight Pass prelims, Walt Harris versus Mark Godbeer. <laughs> Official weight, 244.5 for Mr. Godbeer. Official weight, 251 for Mr. Harris. Mark Godbeer and Walt Harris, ladies and gentlemen, live on UFC Fight Pass. Next, we move to the prelims, live on FX, and we kick things off in the flyweight division. Matt Schnell versus Marco Beltran. Woo. Official weight, 126 for Mr. Beltran. Official weight, 126 for Mr. Snell. Marco Beltran and Matt Snell, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the strawweight division. Pearl Gonzalez versus Pollyanna Botello. Official weight, 115 for Miss Patello.
Official weight, 116 for Miss Gonzalez. Poliana Montello and Pearl Gonzalez, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the lightweight division. Lando Vanada versus Bobby Green. Official weight, 155 for King Bobby Green. Let's go. And his opponent, Lando Vanada. Official weight, 156 for Groovy Lando. Bobby Green and Lando Vanada, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the featured bout on the FX prelims. Tom Duquesnoy versus Cody Stammen. Official weight, 136 for Cody. And his opponent, Tom Duquesnoy. Excuse my pronunciation, official weight, 135.5 for Mr. Dukenwa. Tom Dukenwa and Cody Stammen, ladies and gentlemen. to the main card, live on pay-per-view. We kick things off in the lightweight division. Vanil Darius versus Evan Dunham. Official weight, 156 for Mr. Dunham. His opponent, Benil Darius. <laughs> Official weight, 156 for Mr. Darius. Dunham and Benil Darius kicking off the pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the women's flyweight division. Mora Ronello Bolello versus Kalinda Faria.
Official weight, 125 for Kalinda. And her opponent, Mara Romero Barella. Official weight, 126 for Mara. Mara Romero Barella versus Kalinda Barrera, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the heavyweight division. Fabricio Verdu versus Derek Lewis. Official weight, 263.5 for Mr. Lewis. And his opponent, the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Fabrizio Verdu. Official weight, 247 for Mr. Verdu. Heavyweight barn burner, ladies and gentlemen, Derek Lewis and Fabricio Verdu. a closer look at the two men involved in the co-main event of the evening. It's easy to win the belt, but how many times can you defend it? Oh, and it is all over! He's the best. I'm telling you, that kid is the best. You have a target on your back. I've always got to go out there, put on a better performance, make yourself a better version of yourself. Great Muay Thai by the champ. That's it. I think a true champion needs to go out there and keep on winning his fights, defending his title, keep it defended, and also evolve. DJ working on an arm bar here. There's the tap. The winning streak is now a dozen for Demetrius Johnson. If I am able to go out there and win this fight, I'll be the longest reigning UFC champion ever in history. DJ's been the man of the flyweight for a very long time. Every fight he had, I was more and more determined to beat him. It's always been about beating DJ. He's never faced anybody as young and hungry as I am. I ain't got a damn thing to lose, and it's gonna make for a dangerous fight. Oh, there's the tap! Ray Borg! DJ, I'm coming! And I, you know, I, I really think it's my era, and I really think it's time for me to step in there with DJ and mix it up with him and beat him. I'm not in there to be his stepping stone. I'm not in there to be his 11th trophy win. You're going to see Demetrius Johnson, the only USC fighter champion out there, go out there and cement his legacy as the longest reigning USC fighter champion in the world. One title to bet away from USC immortality! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the challenger, Ray, the Tasmanian, Tas Mexican devil, Borg! Official weight, 124 for the challenger. And his opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed flyweight champion of the world, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Official weight, 125 for the champ.
I'm here with the challenger, Ray Borg. Ray, what did you just say to Demetrius? Told him he's been a great champ, he's done great things, but I want that fucking belt and I'm coming for it. This is obviously a huge fight, the biggest fight of your career. Give us your thoughts on Demetrius as an opponent and what tomorrow night means to you. You know, what, what am I gonna say? He's one of the best in the world, he's done great things, but you know, he wants, he has what I want and something I've been working for my whole life. Good luck to you, sir, we'll see you tomorrow night. Great board, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the champ. Demetrius, this is an opportunity not just for you to defend your title, but to make history. Give us your thoughts on what tomorrow night means to you. Yeah, thank you to Las Vegas for coming out here at the party at Chateau LV. Uh, you know, going out there, uh, it means everything. I mean, I didn't come this far just to lose, so I'm going out there to finish this, man. Good luck to you, sir. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, Demetrius Johnson. Now, let's take a closer look at two men involved in the main event of the evening. I have to tell you that one of the most pivotal moments in my life was when I broke my arm. It made me question whether or not I wanted to do this. Should I just go get a cubicle job? Should I go just, just lay down and die? that. And the UFC 216 main event, Tony Ferguson takes on Kevin Lee for the interim lightweight title. This will be the first time in a long time that Tony Ferguson is meeting an opponent that's going to match him in cardio. Tony Ferguson is always an exciting fight. Why? Because he takes a lot of risk. Kevin Lee, this guy is on a five-fight win streak. Four of those were stoppages. Oh, 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 oh. Here's the tap! The Motown Fina! This was the fight to make. Nobody in this division wants to fight Tony Ferguson. That's what gets me up about this fight. I love a challenge. It's gonna be a dog fight. I love a dog fight. I'm gonna Tony up. All the trash that Kevin Lee's talking, it's just, it's fuel for my fire. I like to do my talking inside the octagon. Why'd you want to pick a fight with the boogie, man? Oh! Oh, good left hook by Ferguson. Oh my goodness! Tony, you know you done f***ed up. You know you f***ed up when you walked up on me at International Fight Week. I can see it in your eyes. You know. El Cuckoo going to sleep. Look, Tony, I'm gonna you can go ahead, you can go ahead and keep saying that. Man, this guy said everything you could possibly say. He said he's gonna me up. Dog, you got problems. Tony Ferguson! Wow. Me and Tony were bound to fight, whether it was gonna be in headlining the T-Mobile Arena for a world championship, or if it was gonna be in my backyard. Beautifully done by Kevin Lee. Yeah, I don't think Kevin Lee understands what he's getting in the octagon with. I'm an animal, man. You ready to battle? You got your hands full, kid. This is for the real UFC lightweight championship. McGregor's got the paper champ, but the man's only got one fight in the division. So after this, maybe Connor can work his way up to me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Motown Phenom, Kevin Lee. Official weight, 154.5 for Mr. Lee. Ah! And his opponent, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. Official weight, 155 for Mr. Ferguson. Kevin Lee, Kevin, obviously there's a lot of intensity going on between you two. This is a huge fight for you and for him. Give us your thoughts on what this opportunity to fight for the interim UFC lightweight belt means to you. This man been doing all the talking this whole time. Won't even look me in my fucking eyes. You see, I ain't no bitch. I'm a, you better be ready to fight, I'll tell you that. Good luck to you tomorrow night, sir. Kevin Lee, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm here with Tony Ferguson. Tony, what are you listening to, man? Oh, some old school stuff. Strawberry letter number 23. Listen to it, feel it, and enjoy it. I want to say thank you to my fans. I weighed in on time. I'm a professional, and I will continue to be professional. I'm going to teach this kid a lesson. He talks too much. Good luck to you tomorrow night, sir. Tony Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming out to the weigh-ins. We will see you tomorrow night. November 11th, the UFC returns with an all-star fight card. In the main event, it's a lightweight barn burner between the always aggressive Dustin Poirier and former champion Anthony Showtime Pettis, plus the immortal Matt Brown versus the original Ultimate Fighter Diego Sanchez, Joe Lozon versus Clay Guida, and much more. UFC Fight Night, Poirier versus Pettis, only on Fox Sports 1. could have walked away and quit and had everybody understand. Your knee can be a career-ending thing. A death of a spouse could be a career-ending thing. All of that would have been a perfect excuse for me to walk away, but there was something in me that was just like, no, we made these goals together, and I need to see it through.